Welcome back to the Arbitrary YouTube channel. So this class will be learning how to make this beautiful asymmetric bossier blouse with yoke and bishop collar. Okay, it also has a bell sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial. You just need to watch it carefully and practice as much as possible. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To drop this pattern, as you can see, it's an asymmetric neckline. I'm going to make the pattern underneath it a bustier bodies. Okay, so you can see what this is looking like. This is an asymmetric neckline. So we'll be drafting this using we'll be using a plain black polish fabric for the main fabric, and then we're going to be using an akara fabric for the yoke part of this design. Okay, so the akara is extended, extended to the shoulder, and the shoulder has like a bell sleeve. So it's very simple to make, and as you can see, I already drafted my pattern like this. Okay, so now the next thing is for me to determine where I want my yoke to start from okay you can see from where you just make sure wherever it is that you want your yoke to start from so starting from six seven or eight inches so my marker is not showing well so i'm going to be using this pen i hope it's showing very well so here we're going to be having i'm going to have my yoke around seven inches which is here and then i'm going to make that into a straight line okay Okay, so now on my this is the bust point, this is the under bust, and this is the waistline. So on the under bust, I took it out of one one inch and I took it to the waistline. So here I'll be going down from the bust point by quarter three quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to be using my curve driller to connect from my under bust straight to that point on both sides. Okay, so this should not be new. We've been doing this a lot on the channel already. So now, here to tighten this hopper part, I'm going to be taking it out of half half inch here. Okay, and then I'm going to connect this back to like three quarter of an inch on this part also. So all this is going off. Okay. So now you can decide to take a bust that if you want more curve. Okay, so the allowance that I took here, which is one inch, I'm just going to try to hide this back here. And then I'm going to redraw my armhole so that I'm not going to be having any shortage. Okay. So, okay, I have that, but then I'm going to take my circumference measurement. So after taking my second first measurement, I'm going to be taking a bust that of one one inch, two inches, one one inch on my bust point line. Then I'll connect it to my bust point at the center here. Okay, so this that is also going off. So these two inches that I have taken is not going to affect my back panel because this is the back bodies and you can see that it is short here by two inches. So by the time I take my bust back and also note that i folded my paper into two remember i'm going to be drafting out the yoke here so we need to fold this pattern into two before i started cutting it out so now i've done what i want to do here the next thing is just for me to cut out this pattern so that i can design how i want my yoke to be so your yoke can take any form that you want is entirely dependent on you it is not restricted to one type of yoke pattern okay so now that is now that it is drafted and cut out the next thing is for me to trace this yoke part using my tracing wheel so that it can show on the other part so i'm just going to run my tracing wheel through this line and then the neckline also i'm going to run it through it then i'll open it so once i open it i can see the lines i'm just going to complete the yoke part okay or you can just cut it out so that you have the exact shape so this is the shape i want if you look at this very well you see that it is just straight like that on the neckline area for the plain material it's not curved or it doesn't have any neckline it's not you can make it a curve a u neckline a sweet tight neckline whatever you want but i'm just going to be maintaining this so if you want it to be curved like a u neckline you can just go down here by maybe one or two inches and then using your curve driller 
you just connect it to this that leg like this so this is going to give you something curved or if you want it to tight neckline you just from there you just connect it like this and then you have your sweetheart neckline like that but i'm just maintaining this straight line that i have here so i'm just going to cut out the yoke and then we're going to be following the pattern that we want so now after cutting it out this is what i have and then i'm going to redraw my neckline i already have that line because i've already used the tracing wheel to trace it out so it's a like a tortoise neckline because there is a bishop collar there so it's not too deep i'm just going to be maintaining the natural neckline that i have there which is three inches by three inches you can adjust it if you want so now the next thing now from this choose the side that you want your yoke to remember it is beer on this side so you choose the side that you want so from this neckline here i'm just going to be going outwards by one inch okay by one inch from there and also from the center front here this is the center front so from the center front here i'm going to place my tape rule and then go inwards by two inches i hope you can see what i'm doing okay two inches or three inches like i said this is not static i'm just doing this because i'm following the design that we have there and that is what i want so from here now from this one inch that i went out here and these two inches i'm going to take my ruler and then i'm going to connect it like this okay you can see that now my neckline has taken that form and then i'm going to cut it out so like i said let me just try to use this to explain another type of neckline for us so if you look at this now you see that this is quite different from what we have there so if you want to follow like this neckline here, instead of going outwards here by one inch you're going to from your center front here on your neckline area you can maintain that point or you just go inwards by half an inch like this and then on this part here from your side you just come inwards like this by two inches so from there you use the slightly curved part of your ruler and then you connect it like this then that is how you're going to cut your pattern to give you this exact design but we are not going to be going for this design okay you can see the design better now but we are not going to be going for this type of yoke we are going to be maintaining the one we have for our ankara so now that i've drafted it out i'm just going to cut it so just like i have done for this part this is my back panel so my patterns are ready now the next thing is just for me to cut it out and then i'm going to cut it so this is the yoke then let me just cut out the neckline and like i said you can actually adjust your neckline if you want so because this is a total neck if i feel this is too much i'll maintain the three inches the i can reduce the three inches here to maybe two and a half or whatever it is so it doesn't have to be this three inches so i'm going to set this aside now and then i'm going to bring in my back panel so i've already drafted this like that the next thing for me is to take my circumference measurements like i did for the front and then i'm going to connect this now and cut out this pattern so that i can also work on it okay so after connecting it like this you can shape it out then i'm going to cut out my neckline also so remember this is the back body and it has a zipper allowance here so now i'm going to fold in my zipper allowance because remember we're going to be sewing the front and back together okay so the shape that i have here as you can see i have to replicate it on the back part also you can see that for the back panel also there is no shoulder around this side it's an off shoulder i just have this tiny off shoulder sleeve so that shape i'm just going to be replicating it for the back also so to do this successfully i'm going to be folding in my zipper allowance like this and then i'm going to open my pattern out okay so the same thing we did for this on this part you can decide which which side or you can just use your front yoke pattern to trace out that design that you have there so just like you have like this you can use this to 
cut it out so you can just draft it all over again by just going outwards here by one inch and then from the center back also you move inwards by two inches just the way you do and like i said it's not static you don't have to follow this exact design if you don't want to work with this design also it is fine okay so before then you need to choose where you want your yoke remember in this case we just went down by six inches but because this is the back panel here i'm just going to be maintaining what i have as my handhold which is eight inches here so that is where i'm going to be breaking my yoke so from there now this is the two inches that i measured earlier I'm just going to connect it to my one inch shoulder, which is this, and then this becomes my yoke. So now I'm going to take my scissors to cut out the yoke part first. Okay. Like I said, I'm maintaining this part for my yoke. So I have my basic bodies, and then now I can trace out this new yoke pattern that I have. Okay. So I have this now. This is going to be going off. This part that I cut out is going to be going off and this is going to be my yoke. So this is the front and this is the back. So let me cut the front neckline. Okay, so I've cut out the front neckline now. This is the front yoke and this is the back yoke so now you can see that the yoke is going to match each other here as you can see okay you can see what we have here now so now i'm going to be cutting out my dart here and then i'm going to be cutting this on my main fabric so this plane is going to be cut on my plain fabric Why this two yoke is going to be cut on my entire fabric and i'll bring it back to show us okay so before i go for the back panel remember it has a zipper allowance there so you don't have to use a zipper allowance for it by the time we finish you will see i'm just going to use like a a clip to tack it at that yoke area so i'm just going to be slashing this zipper allowance open okay so that i'll have two separate pieces for my back Panel. so this is what i have for the back now i'll go and cut it on my fabric okay so i've cut it on my fabric now and then on this part here where you're going to be sewing it to your yoke you may want to add allowances there so this is the bustier part which i said is going to be cut on the plain fabric or using this black plain fabric and this is the yoke part so this is the front yoke and these are the two back yokes you can see that i had the allowances where i want to join this back and here so here because this is a tutorial just listen carefully so i've cut out my yoke like this this is the back and these are the two zipper allowance which is going to overlap like this so because i'm cutting this for a tutorial i'm not going to be cutting lining for this but if you're cutting this for a client you should cut your line exactly the same way you have cut your main fabric like this so after cutting your main fabric you cut your lining exactly the same way so now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now i'm going to take my dart so you can actually cut through your back darts also but i don't i'm not cutting through it i'm just going to take my two back darts here and then i'm going to be joining my bustle together so that they will be just one piece then i'll bring it back to show us how i'm going to complete it okay so i've gone ahead to sew the bust here so this is the front and this is the cup so you can go ahead and pad it with whatever it is you want to pad it with and we have already done several padding either with wording or a ready-made bra cup on this channel so you should know how to do that then this is the back so these are the two back panels and i've held my dad like i said so these are the two back panels so if you have to be sewing this for a client you should cut exactly the same pattern like this and sew it as you're lining i'm just going to be explaining how we're going to line it so for the yoke i'm going to be treating the front yoke first okay so here also for the yoke we cut exactly like this now and then here you're just going to be placing them on each other and then you sew it here so that you can turn it remember this part is going to be showing 
on your neckline area on your chest area like this so you want it to be neat so this allowance that i left i'm just going to be using it to fold it in and then i'm going to stitch on it but if you're doing yours you should cut exactly like this for the lining then you place it on it then sew it before you turn it out so that you can have it neatly so after turning it out like that you're going to be placing your main fabric like this and then you place your yoke and then you place your lining on it and then sew so that by the time you so that by the time what i'm trying to achieve is by the time you finish your main fabric is going to be folded like this and then you must have used your yoke to also turn it so that all these rough edges you have here you are not going to be seeing it i hope you understand that so i'll take this to the machine now and sew it for the back panel also you arrange your back so remember we have two back panels so this is a bit tricky so this is the second part of our back panel and it has this same allowance so like we have here you can see that this is not going to be reaching okay so let me just arrange the back panel so these are the two back panels that we have so the front one is going to come and you're going to join it exactly the same way we are going to be joining the front but for the second one here as you can see it's not reaching the this the back here so there are several ways you can draft your pattern remember when i was drafting it i just slanted mine diagonally like this but if you want yours to reach this point which is the back part here you can just take it after going outwards by one inch you can take it down here like this but i don't want that i want the same shape that i have in front to be as my back so that you this part that is small here is not going to be lost remember we are going to be sewing this together on our shoulder so here now i'm going to be placing this now here and then i'll sew it on the shoulder together like this as you can see and also we are going to be having the bishop collar around this like this so to cut out my bishop collar i'm just going to measure around my neckline but i don't want to take this too much so that i won't be confused i'm just going to go over to the machine now and sew my front yoke and then i'll sew my back yoke also and then enjoy it on the shoulder area okay so we have it like this this is the front and i've gone ahead to sew it together like this so like i said i just held this in you can see i just folded it in and i stitched it and then here also i stitched it then i folded the allowance in like this i stitched it also so that this rough edges is not going to be showing again so the same thing also i did this for the back panel I went ahead to sew it on this part where I had the allowance then I stitched it just like I did for the front then I just sew this also then here also I'm going to be folding it like this and then I'm going to be stitching on it so that I'm not going to be seeing any rough edge but so that I won't lose my two remember the the back is divided into two because of this zipper allowance so I just went ahead to sew the zipper allowance together which I'm going to be losing later if I want to fix my zipper and then also the small part on the back also i also had it with a stitch so that i'm not going to lose it so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to place this on each other now and then i'm going to go ahead to sew it together on the shoulder okay so here you can see it now i'm going to sew it together on the shoulder then after sewing it together i'll take my tape rule now and then measure around the neckline to see the measurement that i have then i'm going to use that measurement to draft my bishop collar so i've drawn my head to join it on the shoulder as you can see so this is the long part and this is the short part and this is what it is looking like okay i hope we're not confused it's very simple you just need to take your time and watch the video carefully so this is what we have now then i'm gonna have to sew my to measure my neckline so i'm just going to remove the zipper allowance that i've sewn in here okay so at this point you can decide to fold this zipper allowance in and then use a breast press button sorry press button to tack your to tack your neckline by the time you are done or a bra hook you can use a bra hook to tack it you can fold it in or you can just leave it open here then work with the zipper allowance so here now i'm going to be sewing my collar to it then I'm going to be folding in this zipper allowance. Okay, of course I'm not going to be, I don't think a zipper will be nice on this. So it's either you just leave your zipper allowance like this, then use a bra hook or button. Okay, so if you are using a button, you may want to leave your zipper allowance so that you fix your button 
on this part okay so let me just turn it like this we have to be using the button for this you leave your zipper allowance open like this so you fix your button on this part then you open the button hole here so that you use it to hold it but i'm just using a bra hook so i'm just going to be folding in this zipper allowance so that by the time i'm sewing in my collar I'm going to use it to close it there or i'm going to be extending my collar by a bit so i'm just going to be extending my collar by like one inch like this so that i can add my bra hook then it can overlap on each other hope understand what i'm talking about or you can just leave it if you are using a bra hook that is really tiny it's still going to hold even without that extension so now i'm just going to go over to my sewing machine now and then add my collar around it okay so i've gone ahead to add the collar as you can see and it's looking like this so also on this side now i've joined it by the allowance that i left so let me turn to this side i use the white thread here so i just sew it by the one inch allowance that i left then if i turn it out we'll see what we have done better okay So this is the back and this is the front so this is what it is looking like and this is our collar so this is how our collar is going to be attaching to the back panel like this and this is what we have okay so now we're almost done with this so what i was explaining at the back earlier is that the zipper allowance that i have here i just had to fold this in and then cut my so you're going to be cutting all of this thread off so I just had to fold the zipper allowance in now and then like I said you can either fold it in like this then attach a bra hook here and use it to hook each other or you can just extend your collar by one inch like I have done on this side so I did different things on both sides when you're folding it in this is what you're going to be having something straight but if you want to extend your collar, you can fold your zipper allowance in like I did here. And then you extend your collar by one inch. So that you're just going to have it slapping on each other like this. So if you're using a button, you can fix a button here. And then fix a button hole to hold it together like this. Also, you can decide to use the zipper allowance that you have here. That's why I did not chop it off. So that I can explain these varieties for us. So if you want your buttons to be like not just on the collar if you want it on the bodies also maybe one two three then you're not going to be folding in your zipper allowance you let it run through like this so that you can fix your button on it and they use it so that you have them lapping on each other like this so i hope we understand that so here i'm just going to be holding this with a pin first so that we can continue so the last thing to do now we're almost through and like i said i've all this together on this side so the last thing we're going to do now is to cut out our our off shoulder sleeve so i don't want this video too long it's already long so i'm just going to be cutting out a tiny off shoulder sleeve half camera like this then i'm going to be attaching it on this side so a little correction that i want to do here remember when i was drafting this i just measured seven inches for my yoke so i still have a little bit of my ham hole on my basic bodies here on that uh, on like the back for the back i just used eight inches which is exactly where my ham hole stops so i don't have any arm hole uh, any arm hole on my basic bodies at the at the back panel here whereas here you can see i still have a little ham hole here where i'm going to be attaching my off shoulder sleeve so if you're doing yours you may want to consider here i'm just going to be attaching the the sleeve tiny on the on the bodies of the back here so if you're doing your own back bodies you may want to consider maintaining the same yoke length or even higher you can instead of the seven inches that i use here you can decide to use six inches here because of the off shoulder sleeve that you're going to be attaching to this side so that you're still going to be having remember the upper part does not get to this point and at this point you're going to be adding your off shoulder to so you, you may need consider using maybe six inches for your yoke so that you have a little bit of your ham hole here so that you can hide your off shoulder sleeve there i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain there 
So I'm going ahead to add this tiny sleeve to it as you can see and this is our body so if you look at the picture you see that on the sleeve side there is a bell sleeve there so I already have a tutorial on how to draft and um, sew a bell sleeve on the channel so I just went ahead to cut out my bell sleeve okay it's just a combination of a basic sleeve and a flare like this and then I'm going to be adding it to the hand pull then I'll take it to the mannequin so that you can see what we have. So this is our blouse. As you can see, we have our collar and also our bell sleeve has been attached to the armhole area. Okay, so the other side is an off shoulder sleeve as you can see. And like I explained in the video, you should consider using maybe a six inches depth for your yoke so that it will give you enough room to add a little bit of arm hold for your sleeve to sit well so i'm just hanging my sleeve there and this is what the back looks like so i use a bra hook for the back and i just use my needle and thread to fix the bra hook to it so you just need to add a zipper to the main bodies and then add a peplum or whatever or a skirt or whatever it is that you want to make with this it's very simple to make and see i've seen you just need to follow the illustration well and i'm sure you're going to get it i hope you enjoyed this story if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one bye